where Nelson Mandela was in prison for about seven years. In our country, there shall be no minority, there shall be no majority, there shall just be people. So I quickly ran to the scene. I was trying to explain myself. This is my younger brother. So help me go. So how did I feel standing in the same places where Mandela walked and being in the same house where Mandela Winnie and his family lived? and the same cell where he spent seven years in jail before Robin Island, walking in the footsteps of so many freedom fighters that inspired our own Malayan struggle. For me, these were life-changing um, moments. So welcome to African Boss. Uh, this is your boy, Yao Bandu. We are in South Africa, the land of Nelson Mandela, the land of the Bafana Bafana. We are happy to be here. I am Today, when I start our tour, we visit the Constitutional Hill. Growing up as a young boy in Malawi, South African politicians were my heroes. The Constitutional Hill website states that there is perhaps no other site of imprisonment in South Africa that imprisoned the sheer number of world-renowned men and women as those held within the wars of Constitutional Hills Old Fort, Women's Jail, and Number Four, Nelson Mandela, Mahatma Gandhi, Joe Slovo, Abatina Sisulu, Winnie Madikizila Mandela, Fatima May, were some of those names. This is also the site of the country's highest court, the Constitutional Court. Fortunately, you are allowed to enter this amazing and historical place as a tourist. This place shows the past, the present, and where South Africa is heading as a country. So this is the fort. This is where they kept Mandela. Okay, this is a white prison. Very different from the black prison. Mandela was the only black prisoner kept here. This is exactly where Nelson, this is where Nelson Mandela uh, was in prison for about seven years. This is his cell. So he also stood on this door, like like how I'm standing. It's a great feeling. about Mandela and South Africa were the highlight of our childhood. For us, uh, these political figures, the Mandelas, and they were, they were like what Martin Luther King, Malcolm X were to black Americans in, in, in the USA. When Mandela first came to, to Malawi, masses and masses of people lined up just, just to see him. So this is the Mandela Gandhi exhibition. Uh, they said that Gandhi was here for a total of four times.
So you see that's Mahatma Gandhi there. They lived in different times, but uh, they were both here. And that's them there. In their younger days, both of them were young and strapping. <coughs> to try to align their history together because they're very iconic in both their countries. Uh, this is replicas from Mahatma Gandhi from his life. And this is Mandela's replica. He was a boxer. And those were his gloves. This is when is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. That's Mahatma Gandhi. Nelson Mandela says, I like friends who have independent minds because they tend to make you see problems from all angles. inspiration you know we even had a, a, a one of our biggest um, township of Ndilande which is our own Soweto we actually nicknamed it Soweto at that time because everything happened started from there just like Soweto it happened there it started from there uh, we looked at the resistance you know we, we knew about Soweto we know how fierce they were you know, they, against bullets and guns and everything they, 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 they were just so brave and they inspired um, our nation to move forward so to walk into those streets of Soweto uh, is certainly a uh, special this is where Desmond Tutu this is where Nelson Mandela and many others freedom fighters lived and came from we're just heading towards Mandela's house uh, that's where we're gonna have a look at Mandela's house there, up the road there. Our, so this is Mandela house in Soweto. Apparently he was here about 11 days, for about 11 or just about there, when he got out of prison, when he moved out with Winnie and the family. So yeah, let's see his house. <laughs> I left I left it in the car. This is quite unbelievable. Uh, this is quite unbelievable. Um, so it's just a Mandela. So you look at Hector Peterson standing in the same places where he was shot. That iconic photo of Mbuyisa Makobo uh, carrying Hector Peterson with a sister beside them uh, was just unbelievable to be in the same um, in the same spot. And um, you know, I, I like. 
to visit places like those, uh, to have this, that sort of connection in Africa. I, I, if, if, if I go, I want to have the same sort of feelings if I, if, if, if I go to Kenya, if I go to Rwanda, Nigeria, you know, we should have this same connection that binds our past together, our history together, and also uh, that will bind our future together because as Africans, we've got no choice that um, our future is interconnected.